Well, snow lovers, you might be in luck for the upcoming winter if you believe the woolly worm folklore. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. Over the weekend, we brought in some of our favorite plants because it got so cold. And check out what I found hanging on one of them. This little guy is a woolly worm caterpillar, and he's almost all black with very little brown in the middle. Uh -oh. Here's why that's important. Legend says the more black on the caterpillars, the colder and harsher our winter will be. But if it's more brown, we'll supposedly have a milder winter. Is that true? Megan verifies. To verify, we turn to the National Weather Service and Frank Fowler. They conclude that claim is false. There's been a lot of studies, a lot of folklore about the woolly bear, and um, no studies have ever concluded that they actually can predict um, future weather events. However, the coloration and the uh, and the, the length of the bands do have a correlation to how severe the previous winter was. When they're born in the spring, they're all black, and the more warm growing season they have, the the wider that brown rust colored band becomes in the middle. The National Weather Service notes the coloring also indicates the age of the caterpillar. Each time it sheds its coat, it becomes redder. As for why the insects are so furry, Fowler said the coat protects them from freezing down to negative 90 degrees Fahrenheit. In conclusion, we verified no woolly bear caterpillars can't predict the upcoming winter, but their coloring can indicate the severity of the previous one. Yeah, and so Ben, because the woolly worm you saw was almost all black and we had a fairly mild winter last year, mm -hmm. I'm going to guess that it's it was young. just a really young yeah. woolly worm. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. I, I hope these caterpillars are, are wrong. I, I, would, <laughs> I would prefer a mild and we're already obviously looking at this. I will tell you that we're in a strong El Nino pattern, the warming of the Pacific uh, Ocean waters right near the equator and that can uh, really dictate it and change the atmospheric patterns. Right now, we're looking overall, and this is very generalized over the whole winter, at above normal temperatures for much oh. of the continental United States. And in terms of precipitation for us locally, it looks to be that precipitation will run about normal. And all of that correlation is years and years of study. Mm -hmm. El Nino, the warming up the Pacific uh, equatorial waters, and then La Nina, the cooling. cooling. Both of those have an impact yeah. on our winters. Well, so I, we'll see. I trust you over a worm any day. Ed. Well, <laughs> we'll keep you posted. The official forecast comes out in November and we'll check it all out for you.